Friday, uh, sun shining in Wakefield, and we're back on the project, Gullwing project. This is part four, is it? What do you mean, don't shake your head? Part four. Yeah, part four. Sure First, we're picking up it. Second was SLK. Third was last week. Fourth. That'd be. Yeah, fourth. We're doing all right. I've been totally lighting up because last week I watched the video back. It was like watching a funeral directory. Um, right, so what are we doing this week? We're going to do a little bit more cutting. And I know a few of you were disappointed we didn't get the body, body on last week. We are going to get it on this week. So we're going to cut uh, the windscreen posts. So we're going to take these down a little bit um, so that the body sits on it best. We're not sure about the back yet. We'll probably just take it on. You're going to see us all day probably taking it on and off all day. That's probably what the video is going to be about. We might have to take this rear strengthener out. We're definitely taking the floor out here that the spare wheel was in because we don't need that and we'll make a, a, a bow off. Whether we're going to cut the frame rails down here, the chassis rails down to about three quarter length, because we're making a new lot for the back anyway, so it doesn't really matter about that, as long as we, we weld onto these, so we've got a really, really good, strong, nice fixing. We've cut the arches down a bit more, so that should be okay. Uh, and uh, we're going to do, let's say, what we'll do today, um, we took the earths off last week and we wondered why it wouldn't start and it was because the earths were up, but so uh, she starts so we might do a if we get the body on today we might do a quick run around the street with it we're taxed <laughs> why not <laughs> right so let's start cutting these off and then we'll do a quick test fit and uh, see what <laughs>
can see we're getting pretty close here with the body this is the first attempt obviously so we knew we were going to come into a few uh, few problems and one of the, the main problems that we discovered were that the clocks were hitting the firewall of the uh, body itself so we need to take the clocks out and parts of the dashboard as well so we could uh, enable it to clear so here we go it's on body's on first attempt well a little bit of fettling, wasn't there? Yeah, bit of trimming on that. Bit of trimming, removing the dash with a size 9 boot. Um, but body's on. It needs, like I say, a little bit more fettling yet. As you can see, the, uh, the wheels are correctly in the right place, so the body needs to go back. It needs to come down a lot more, but it's on. Like I say, a little bit of fettling needed. So what I'm going to do at the moment it's resting on where Alex cut the um, windscreen tops off. It's also touching the radiator, so as you can see, radiator sticking out at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut, as you can see, that, that support there. We're going to take that support off now. We're going to take the radiators out, and then the bodywork will go back a little bit further. But pretty happy for, uh, for the first go. Let's say we'll need to... Do some adjusting now, so lift the body up. But before we do that, I think uh, cup of tea is in order. Cup of tea. Slice of fruit, love. Slice of fruit. Why not? Come on, then. Explain to me. What we're going to need to move? Well, this bit's going to have to disappear. Right. Body won't go down far enough. Yep. Um, fuse box is going to have to go. Yep. Uh, ABS is going to have to go, but you don't really need no, brakes we, anyway. No, we don't no. need brakes. Can we um, just put, throw an anchor out? Yeah, block of wood. Yeah, block of wood. <laughs> yep. So, um, ABS pipes are all there. Yeah. Um, expansion bottle. Expansion bottle. Yeah. Battery might have to go in boat somewhere. We ain't got a boat. I'll cut it out. No, we'll have to. Right. Okay. Well, should we get this radiator out first then? Yeah. We'll get radiator out and then we'll... It's a nice smiley little face, isn't she? You got a name for it? No, I ain't got a name for it yet. No. Think no. of a name. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Suggestions, please, to the <laughs> comments below. <laughs> to get the body to move further back and make it sit a little bit lower, we decided to take out the water radiator and the aircon radiator at this point. Massive thanks go to Ace Automotive in Leeds as well. Oh, at such short notice, they came out and drained the aircon radiators for us. So uh, thanks very much for that, guys. So you can see here, just taking the rad pack out. Once you take the rad pack out, then I'm going to be drilling the support out that holds them in place. I'm just using a special drill bit here. It's meant for drilling out spot welds. We are going to be keeping this bracket, although we are planning on using custom radiators. We just want to keep the bracket just in case we do need it in the future. Take two. All right, I'll go to that side. Right. <sighs> Where are we grabbing it? Yep, yep. <laughs> Sounds like Titanic when it was going down, when it hit my iceberg. <laughs> I hope that's not an omen. <laughs> <laughs> back yeah. that bloody pipe's gone down again there we go forward a bit more there we go look at that wow 
It's a lot better. Oh, it's a ton, that's tons better. Yeah. Just need to go back a bit. Yep. Ah, leak wheels there. Just make a bigger we'll just arch. Cut arches out. Yeah, make a bigger arch. Right, let's get the wheels on. If we, get wheel, if we can get wheels on, um, we'll just see what ride height, what it looks like. Yeah. I mean, the front is, like I say, still higher. Yeah. But we can get a, an idea, can't we, if we've got everything right. Like a pig on stilts. <laughs> we get grinded off lump springs. Yeah, cut them springs off. That's not. It's not bad. Bad is it? No. for its first attempt. Second. Second. Yeah. Second attempt. There we go. Second attempt. Still needs a little bit of lining up, but not bad. Do you know what we do need? Big uh, Mercedes sign foot back. We haven't got one yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite deep, I like think. Mm -hmm. Some adjustments may be needed. Yes. Oh, like a glove. <laughs> right, that part needs sticking out. Just rack a fuse box cover off. Seal. Mm -hmm. And you're catching on expansion, expansion bottle. bottle. Expansion bottle can drop. We've took a little bit more out because we want to get the body sitting as low as we can, really. So as you can see, we've took out the battery panel. We took out the box for the ECU. So we'll make a box for that. Battery will relocate in the back. We've dropped the ECU down, we moved the, not ECU, ABS, ABS. Uh, header tank, we've just put that down as well because obviously we're touching that, that's all radius, trimmed a little bit more off the tops here, we're just going to take a little bit more out the back arch here because the, it was, obviously we want to go lower so it was catching on there, so uh, we're going to do that now and hopefully retry it again and get the body a little bit lower. Try again. Test fit number three. Three. A bit of yeah. Forwards a bit. Hang on. Get that stupid pipe up. Don't no, forget pipe. Right. Bloody power steering pipe. Gone? No. You need a hand? No. Right. Oh. 
I don't think it looks a million miles off uh, no. level. With wheels being at middle at holes, middle at arches. Mm, that's spot on. Spot right, that, isn't it? Should we put a bit of tape on them so we know where they are? Um, we have, we've dropped the bodywork down as low. Remember, at the moment, this, it'll go down lower because obviously we've got doors, roof, everything missing off of it. So, but we've dropped the body. This is as low as we can get the body, which is pretty, I'm pretty happy with it, to be totally honest with you. Um, obviously, we're going to get air ride suspension on it as well. So uh, that should be good. We've relocated everything. We took the battery out. Battery's going to be put in the boot. Uh, we're going to keep in the tank where it is. We're going to have a filler neck coming up to here. And we're probably going to get one of the um, motorbike More fillers. Motorcycle ones, you like yeah. the motorcycle Plus fillers where you just push it in and twist it. Uh, we're going to make the boot floor. But everything is good. Cup of tea out. So, hmm? Yeah, so everything is as it should be at the moment. We've took loads of measurements, so we're gonna make start next week. Uh, we will be making the hoops and everything, so we're just gonna, look at that heads up display on the outside. Not waterproof. Right, here we go. Hang on, let me get around to the front. Oh, all right. Oh, we've got some ticking. That's a good sign. And some beeping. Some beeping. We'll set them off. Still works. Don't stall it. I'll try not to. <laughs> yeah, boy. child with a new toy. Look, we've just took the silence off the back. Uh, just because. Let's see what it's going to sound like. Yeah, a bit loud that. A bit loud. That's good, we like that, we like loud. Stamp on the loud pedal. Look, I can film myself. I wouldn't. <laughs> box in it. Pardon? Just a little box would be all right. It's yeah, not horrendous, is it? Yeah, it's sucking it, bro. <laughs> Lovely. Right. I think we'll call it a day for that for today. I um, hope you've enjoyed today. I know it's been a lot of trial and fitting of the body, but sometimes that's what you've got to do. So thanks very much for watching. Um, thank you very much as well for all the comments and likes, subscriptions, everything that you've done. Uh, people just even texting me. It's been really, really gratifying to be honest. And uh, thank you very much for everything. So if you like this video, like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up. All right, take care, see you next time.